What's up guys, back in today with another reaction to Attack on Titan, the final season, this time with part 2, episode 7. Very excited to get into today's episode after Annie returned last episode, which is going to be very interesting to see what part she has to play in this story going forward. Uh, I'd actually very much like to see her return to Marley with her dad, but I'm not sure if her, her dad is going to be around much longer after, of course, the rumbling went down. Uh, we also saw this really awesome scene with Gabby and Kaya last episode, which was definitely one of my favourite moments of this season so far, uh, which is such a kind of wholesome and uh, kind of uplifting and motivational moment, really. Um, unfortunately, yeah, not there to see or anything but uh, still definitely gives us a bit of hope for what's to come in the future and we also did see Pixis die unfortunately uh, luckily enough we didn't spend too much time as a mindless titan and endured that torture for that long so uh, that was a really kind of dark moment but it was a really kind of old school moment as well that whole scene so uh, again last episode was just great and hopefully we can continue that today as well make sure you let me know what you guys think of this episode though down in the comment section leave a like on the video if you guys did like the video and subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date with these weekly reactions and let's get right into the episode three two one, let's go. What is this? Something. <laughs> oh, who is that old woman? A random woman? Just one or two. <laughs> I don't think, I don't think we're talking those type of numbers. Yeah, he is harming some of his own to get a majority of his own people's safety, but again, some of them are getting hurt either way, as well as all the innocent people outside as well. A lot of people are turning on. Yeah, <laughs> I was then thinking the same thing. There'll be two factions here, aren't there? Those against and those four. Not that any of them can do that much. Annie, you noticed. She is a guard, I think. That must be creepy. I think I was in a horror movie seeing that. Like the Invisible Man or something. She is sharp after all those years. Very bored eyes. I imagine she was pretty damn bored for four years. I wonder if her mind was still kind of going. Oh shit. Yeah, it has affected her. Look how skinny her arms are. You can still turn into a titan though, right? Thank God. Thank God she's not going to do it right now. Yeah, that's a big risk. I mean, it's not like she's too much of a threat or anything right now, so I think she can just kind of be on the lowdown about this, can't she? Um, but there, I think there's more important things going on. <laughs> they got to deal with. Although Annie is a very unexpected kind of situation to deal with in itself, isn't it? Again, I'm really excited to see where it leads to. 
He's obviously got more to do storyline-wise. But yeah, I had a feeling that she'd it wouldn't be the same. But she obviously is the same Annie, but not not in the kind of brute power and such that she had before. She was really good at fighting, wasn't she? And after four years, of course, your body's going to get real weak. I wonder what it does to your mind as well if you are again kind of thinking in there. It must be horrible. If I lose it all, slip and fall. Lose it all. Sunset. Hmm. Well, yeah, that's what I was kind of saying. <clears throat> So she could hear as well. <laughs> oh my god. She heard Armin asking questions and stuff as well, hey? Oh, yes. So she was thinking. Yep. Horrible. I guess that's a little, maybe that's a little, well, probably not. I'm going to say it might be a little bit what being a Titan's like. But I think they describe it as even worse than that. So you heard Eren as well. Yeah. He is. Fucking hell. He did kill a lot of his own people, didn't he? Right. The view up there is a little bit different, isn't it? And the one down here. Did they? Oh, so her app, so this guy isn't a real father. A father. Wow. It's a nice man. Trained her. Then she beat him. <laughs> Yep. 
I'm pretty sure we've seen this before, haven't we? See, in part one. Or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's another part. Yeah. <laughs> Just get a little bit off our chests. I mean, you, you'd want to speak after four years, wouldn't you? Yeah, you could at least listen. From that moment. Wow, on the last day. Damn. It's too late now, isn't it? You already taught her to be a machine. And it's just such a shame they've got those 13 year lifespans. Probably why they're so fucking upset. I've actually been in the OVR I watched recently, actually, the Lost Girls OVR. I can't remember where I've seen that backstory before, but I've seen parts of it. Fair play. I think that goes for a lot of other people, like Connie as well, for example, what happened last episode. Obviously different stories there, but he wants to feed Falco to his mother. All for family, and your loved ones. Everyone here is just doing what's most important to them, aren't they? I mean, that's one of the ultimate kind of things. Even if it's deemed wrong by everyone else viewing around them. Oh well, of course these guys don't understand. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I can't wait to see these guys get stumped on. All these horrible Mali officials. Oh shit, he's going for the fight. He's going to die, isn't he? I hope he doesn't. Like this. Really? Gonna go out fighting. Got your piss hands. <laughs> yeah, but he wants all these guys to live, doesn't he? All his students. He's 
a good man, isn't it? The man that brought upon Aaron Yeager. <laughs> it's going to be a hard one to convince him not to. It's going to be a hard thing to do. It'll be a hard thing to hear. What are you, what are you going to do? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the, that's the question I've been saying. What the hell can these guys do? Can anyone do? A lost cause. Is he still a lost cause? He might have gone too far to be fair, he might be. I'm not 100% sure of that though. What are you on about, man? Hmm. Oh, it's gone. Aaron, take it. I'm not sure why people are leaving, to be honest with you guys. I would have thought Eldia would be the safest place. <laughs> Jeez, man! What if these guys are hugging like this? <laughs> Considering the first half of this season. <laughs> Flock's just having some fun, is he? These titans are still roaming out like that.
Oh, oh, oh damn. <laughs> Two extra shots as well. Jesus. <laughs> I don't think anyone's going to speak it up now. Flock really is a different man after that battle. See, it's pre part two, isn't he? It's an all different beast. This is their freedom. A horrible freedom, isn't it? I guess he can do that now. But again, the means to this end were just... <laughs> oh my god. What you just call him? <laughs> well, we still don't actually have any confirmation of that, do we? I think at least it's guaranteed. Hanges. Oh, wow, he's actually copying. Is he lying? Wow. Oh wait, maybe he's not lying. Oh, he is. Fucking bastards. Why is everyone deceiving my dude Falco? It could just had him still be knocked out. But no, you've got to, you've got to, this fight has just got to be absolutely more brutal to him. Even more brutal to him than he was before. Yeah, you've seen him on that blimp. Fucking hell. Maybe Falco will get a clue and remember where we actually saw him from and then be a little bit more hesitant about that whole situation. But why has the writer got to do this? <laughs> why has everyone just got to betray Falco? <laughs> You're all free now. She there? Oh my god. Fucking hell, that was quick. Where's Levi? Just leave. Maybe he is. Maybe he is alive. Yeah, I knew it. I think everyone knew it. <laughs> Let's be honest. You can't you can't have someone kind of die but not actually see them die on screen. Like with uh, Owen, for example, we fully saw his death, so we knew he actually died. Uh, but with Levi again, it's, it's Levi. We know he's quite overpowered. We know he's physically kind of strong and such. But I think that maybe goes further to the kind of damage he dealt as well. Maybe he can take a little bit more than a normal human as well. Um, again, that hasn't been confirmed or anything. I don't think anyway. So uh, that's just a theory. But yeah, great episode today. Really interesting how they uh, blended the ending into that um, kind of ending sequence there. I really like that actually. It gets us a little bit more time with the actual show as well. As so a lot of kind of story elements did happen this episode. Uh, progressing events. And 
kind of setting up events to happen in the future as well with Annie at the start of the episode. It was nice hearing her story about her father again. I think I've heard the, I've heard bits of that somewhere. It might have been in the Lost Girls OVA. It might have been uh, in other seasons. Again, I'm not 100% sure, but I knew uh, the relationship with the dad did kind of come around in the end um, going into this episode. So it's quite nice for the people that haven't seen uh, whatever I did see uh, where I got this from, um, that they added that in there as well. But yeah, awesome episode just discussing about Aaron as well being this lost cause. I mean, he very well could be this lost cause. I mean, things have gone past the kind of point of no return now, but has Aaron gone past that point of no return? I'm not 100% sure about that. Uh, like we saw with Gabby and Kaya, at any point these people can kind of um, change around and turn around and uh, kind of change their thoughts and such. Again, it might be a little too late in Aaron's case, but um, it's still very well could be possible uh, really nice moment with those two again today as well hugging each other and saying goodbye um, but yeah Levi and Hanji still alive of course Hanji's still alive I think she only took one shot um, and really excited to see what kind of part they have to play in the story especially Levi of course um, having the kind of power that he does have he might actually be able to make a kind of big difference in the story at this point but yeah very excited to see what happens next week make sure you let me know what you guys think of this episode though down in the comment section leave a like on the video if you guys did like the video and subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date with these reactions uh, again so much to talk about I'm just getting even more kind of flowing to my head about Falco and Connie as well um, Again, Falco getting betrayed again. Um, I love Falco, and again, just seeing this happen to him is just horrible, isn't it? But yeah, let me know what you guys think about all these situations down in the comment section, and enjoy the rest of your night, guys.